Hello and welcome to our video tutorial on the advanced decline line. The advanced decline line or AD line is a breadth indicator that, that reflects the number of advancing stocks less those that are declining. This gives us an indication as to the participation by all the securities in a movement of the broader index for which they are constituents. The line is positive and moving higher when the number of advances exceeds those that are declining and vice versa. When compared with the index itself, the AD line should confirm similar movements in the same direction. So when we see the index moving to new near term highs, we want to see the AD moving to new near term highs as well. The inverse is true. So when the index is moving to new lows, we want to see the AD line moving to new lows as well. Failure to do this would form a divergence, either bullish or bearish, uh, that would suggest that the price is certainly at risk or has the increased probability of a reversal. It's a very simple calculation. Um, to calculate this, the AD line, we simply take the previous value plus the net advances for today. So the value, and you'll see this on the chart here, we've got our AD line represented in blue and you, you'll see it's a negative reading. That's not so important overall because that, that value is gonna change depending on the starting date for the calculation. Again, what is really important with this indicator is that the shape of the line itself confirms price movements of the index. Now, if a new high on the stock market is accompanied by a new high on the AD line, it shows that the rally has broad support and is likely to continue. Broadly based rallies uh, and declines have greater staying power. So if the stock market, the ASX 200 for example, reaches a new peak, but the AD line actually reaches a lower peak uh, than the previous rally, it shows there's fewer stocks participating in that higher move, so it's narrowing. And the rally may be coming to an end, it's an early sign for us. This narrowing would suggest that the underlying strength is not driven by a broad rally, but perhaps by a few big names, such as the big banks in Australia, the big four banks make up a very large uh, portion of the move of the ASX 200. Now, just this first chart represents it. So as we see the price on the ASX 200 index moving higher, we can see that the AD line is also moving higher, confirming that direction. That's what we want to see. I've also put on a small histogram here uh, in green, which just highlights the net advances for that day. So when it's positive and it's above zero, more securities in the ASX 200 index advanced on that day. And when it's negative, uh, more securities declined than advanced. And if the indicator or the histogram is at zero, uh, then the number of securities that advanced was equal exactly to the number of securities that declined. Now this second chart highlights that divergence that I just mentioned. Um, now we can see in 2013 in March the ASX 200 index moves to a new near term high before pulling back and then moving to a higher level in May so we're moving to new highs. At the same time we can see our AD line actually crosses lower. Uh, forms a lower high here, just below 4,000. And that divergence uh, suggests that this move to new highs in May is not as broad based as this move to the highs in March, and therefore signals that price is susceptible to a reversal. And we do actually see that over the next, uh, next month and a half, two months, we actually see price pull back quite sharply. Uh, important to note though, this divergence on its own does not always suggest that price will imminently reverse, just suggests to us that there is the increased risk of a price reversal. And that is our video tutorial on the advanced decline line.